This one's for all the patchouli lovers out there like me, Afnan's patchouli on fire. One of two new releases, two brand new releases from Afnan. Let's talk about it. Hello people, my name is Nixon Dyes and you are watching Smelly Cat. It's my birthday today. Yes, I'm recording this on the 29th of July. You're probably seeing this uh, a day or two later, maybe even weeks or months later. Uh, but at the time of recording this, it's my birthday. I turned 36 today. And you know what I want as a gift? Nothing more than a like on this video. And while you're at it, why not subscribe and hit the bell icon too. Today we talk about Afnan's patchouli on fire. I'll tell you what it smells like, how it performs, and if it reminds me of any other popular fragrance. So there are two new releases from Afnan in this range. One is patchouli on fire and the other one is called Tobacco Rush. This one, Tobacco Rush, I'll talk about in a separate video tomorrow. I thought I'll do them together, but then I said that, you know, it'd probably get too long. And also maybe some people are <laughs> But really fans, the others are tobacco fans. So, you know, why not split the video so you can watch the one that you're interested in. First, let's quickly have a look at the presentation. This is a nice heavy box. And this is how the sleeve outside the box looks. It's got this uh, illustration on it, which is, I would say, pretty similar to, uh, I think the brand is called Al Gabra Perfumes. And they have a plain front but the back and the sides have a similar illustrated style design on them and i think they've gone for that look or maybe it's just a coincidence let's pull that sleeve out and show you what the box inside is this is a nice heavy uh, box that it comes in and i'll quickly show you the bottle as well here's how it snugly fits into the box uh, if you notice there's this intricate design going on not only on the outside of the box but also on the bottle here's a look at the bottle it looks like an oversized um, cigarette case like a vintage cigarette case or a peaky blinders cigarette case not just because of the shape of that bottle but also this design that i was talking about that runs through the back as well i'm not sure if you know what i'm talking about so i'll put an image somewhere here in case i i'm not too lazy and i find an image so that you know what i'm talking about you get the context so this bottle will remind you a bit of this one which is voyage by armaf pretty similar but this one is much heavier feels well built and the cap is magnetic but not this weak ass magnetic cap that comes in the armaf the other one it will remind you of is Arabian Oud Amiri, but this one is on another level when it comes to the, the quality. This is a heavy, heavy, heavy uh, base bottle that can be used as a weapon. This cap's magnet is just, just listen to it. It's just so strong. This one is somewhere in between uh, the Amiri and, uh, sorry, the, so yeah, Amiri and uh, Voyage Brown or Voyage Blues bottle. Not as heavy as Amiri, but uh, obviously better than uh, the Voyage one. And the magnet is also much stronger. There's also one more thing I like about it, is that when you don't put it in place, you just the magnet does the job for you. You know what I forgot to ever ask? Do you guys want me to do uh, Arabian Hood stuff? Because I have around 15 to 16 maybe Arabian Hood fragrances and they, most of them make my top 20, 25 list. Out of the like five, six, 700 fragrances that I have, most of the Arabian Ouds are absolute bangers and they will definitely make my uh, top 20, top 25 uh, all-time fragrances. Middle Eastern, definitely they're all up there in the top. I just thought that people were probably not interested. You guys might not watch it, but if you are, let me know and I'll start doing a lot of Arabian with fragrances well you probably see boxes on this side these are just the ones that I could fit here but there are so many of them back in the other drawer uh, behind these behind those as well even up which you can't see uh, on the top of the screen uh, so if you're interested do let me know all right I digress let's get back to Afnan's patchouli on fire let me first tell you the official notes that I found on the Afnan website the top notes are fresh spicy aromatic and woody the middle notes are patchouli, 
lavender and citrus and the base notes are warm spicy and patchouli again so from the notes you probably get an idea of the kind of scent that it is but the notes really don't tell you what this is going to be an alternative of uh let me do that this one is most like nikolai patchouli intense yes let me show you the sprayer first i forgot to do this earlier but here is how it sprays it's a nice distribution it's not really direct uh, so it you know sort of spreads out uh, and i was coming to how it smells off the top when you spray it and that's why i want to show you the spray as well when you spray it as soon as you do you know that this is a nikolai patchouli intense alternative there's no beating around the bush no afnan twist nothing they wanted to create i think a simpler more mass appealing version of nikolai patchouli intense and spoiler alert they've done that yes there are some minor differences between this one and nikolai patchouli intense and i'll get to them later but uh, let's tell you how close this is first i've had nikolai patchouli intense for the longest time actually not me my dad i used to steal it from him he's got it in his collection every time i go back home i still wear it uh, he has a bigger bottle of it i think it's probably almost over now and most of that has been used by me when i was living there and every time i go down as well so what i'm trying to say is that yes i'm well versed with how it smells uh, so when i sprayed this like i said i just knew that this was a patchouli nikolai patchouli intense alternative now even though nikolai patchouli intense is classified as a unisex scent i would say most people would put it into the masculine category and it's the same thing with this one as well uh this follows suit in terms of how the scent smells overall and there's no twist like i said earlier to make it slightly more unisex or feminine that doesn't mean that uh, women can't wear this i think if you're confident enough you can pull this off the opening of this one is a strong burst of citrus lavender and geranium uh it's sharp it's spicy uh, and it's dry the only difference i found with this one and what i remember of nikolai patchouli intense is that the geranium in this one feels a little lighter it's the same thing with the geranium and uh, rose combo that comes in the middle of nikolai patchouli intense that combo is again lighter in this one which means that by this time it's straight up patchouli and oak moss for uh, most of that scent journey a little bit of sweetness does creep in with this one uh mostly from the cinnamon and vanilla i would say um there's also a bit of soapiness as well but that comes in much later on in the scent journey now i've had a couple of nikolai patchouli intense alternatives earlier and what tends to happen is most of the time people overdo that dry feeling of the patchouli and they miss out in, on that sweetness from the cinnamon and vanilla uh it's almost non existent most of the time it's very sharp very harsh in the opening at least the couple of that i've tried yes this has that same strong i won't say harsh that strong opening like uh nikolai patchouli intense has but it also slowly mimics that cinnamon sweetness that you get towards the dry down so for me that makes this a more uh balanced and way more polished alternative to anything that i've tried in the past let's have a look at the price here in the uae this is available for 200 dirhams so that is slightly above the price of say um, a supremacy not only intense it's 180 dirhams over here so this one is 200 slightly more premium uh, it's not their most expensive scent but it is slightly more premium uh, premiumly priced compared to the other scents in the collection so expect this to be around 10 dollars 15 dollars maybe or 5 to 600 rupees more than the other of nonce that you've picked i'm talking about not only intense not the cheaper ones like 9 am or 9 pm and uh, now this is an assumption i'm making purely based on what i've seen uh, the prices going in the past and the prices over here in the uae but i'm sure you'll find someone or you know someone who'd give you a better deal on these coming to the longevity 8 to 9 hours was a breeze for this one uh every time i wore it you know it lasted me through the day without any problem siage a little more than moderate i'd say i won't say it's beastly or uh, monstrous or really strong but it does quite a good job and it is noticeable especially in that first one or two hours 
to sum it up if you're looking for a cheap cheaper uh, or if you're looking for a nikolai patchouli intense alternative this is definitely a scent that you at least should be checking out i won't say blind buy it because it's not you know patchouli intense uh, itself is not everyone's cup of tea so if you know the scent profile if you've been looking for that then definitely this is something worth checking out also wait for tomorrow's video where we'll be talking about this one tobacco rush uh, if you're into rich 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 tobacco fragrances you'll definitely want to hear about this one uh, so hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you don't miss the update or you know just just come back to the channel and you'll find me talk about this one until next time keep smelling amazing